It's Thanksgiving time again. And that being the case, let's not forget who this holiday is really all about. And I'm not talking about our nation's turkey farmers, Native Americans, or, for that matter, the Detroit Lions. I'm talking about the Pilgrims. And when you're talking about the Pilgrims, you're really talking about America's first immigrants. Because the American dream has a very special meaning for people who weren't born here. People like myself and my good friend, Ascachola. As an immigrant who's also a white European male, I enjoy the melting pot of diversity that is America the best way I know how. By eating lots of spicy takeout and exotic foreign foods. As a Mexican immigrant, I enjoy being a wage laborer, preparing the exotic foods at these different restaurants. Despite that pesky separation of church and state, I know that this is God's country, no more so than when I'm admiring the majesty of Californian state parks. And I thank God every time I find a job gardening or landscaping for minimum wage at one of California's breathtaking state parks. Every time I see the Statue of Liberty, I know that her torch is a beacon to immigrants like myself. When I see the Statue of Liberty, her torch is a reminder to young anarchists to set fire to something. With Spanish as my native tongue, I find it challenging to learn English as a second language. As an immigrant, I can feel sympathetic when I watch our president struggle with English as a first language. As an immigrant, when I hear Carlos Mencia make jokes about building a border wall, I mostly wonder, who's he gonna get to build those jokes? When I see Carlos Mencia make a joke about anything, I question the economic system that allowed him to rise to the position he is in today. It is not the writer of the joke who is at fault, but the masses who do not rise up against him to overthrow his reign of terror. As an immigrant, I appreciate the wisdom of the Founding Fathers in providing us with a Bill of Rights. I enjoy being mistaken for a terrorist and knowing that I could be sent to a prison overseas with no right of habeas corpus. As a nation of immigrants, we do owe a debt of thanks to the Native Americans, but also to all the immigrants that came before us too. This video is supplied for pilgrim purposes only. Welcome to the new world, bitches. If you want to see more Ask a Chola, you can check her out at askachola.com or YouTube forward slash askachola TV. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to rate it five turkey hangovers. That's five turkey hangovers. See you next time. Cheers.